This is section seven of the Moody Blues Blanket, and we're back to a section using the simple two round granny squares, which we used back in section two. And they're joined with the continuous join as you go, as we used in section two, using that nice variegated stone wash yarn. Now, it's almost getting too big to be able to show you the whole thing, but as you can see, there are now a lot of these two round squares going around the edge because the blanket is quite big now. In fact, there are 96 and they are, I've worked them out in um, eight lots of 12 colours. And so once you've got your 12 colours laid out and you've made your eight of each, then it's a case of one to 12 repeated um, around the blanket. Doesn't matter which corner you start in really at all and honestly it doesn't even really matter what um, sequence you put the colours in. You can um, follow exactly the colours that I've used or you can mix them up and do them yourself but if you make these um, 12 colours you'll find that what's happened is they have echoed the colours that were way back in the beginning of the blanket. So we've gone through all the dark blues and getting lighter and darker. And then we're back out to these colors from the middle before we come to the edge. So this is section seven. Now I'm not going to go into any tutorials for these squares because you can look back at section two for this and also for the continuous join as you go.